Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with me, Break It Dawn. Let's see what's behind the stone door. Secluded chamber. The devil you know in autobiography. Have you ever had a god change your blood? It is a horrifying thing, even for those who may desire it. Yet few tieflings wish for Asmodeus to claim their bodies, only to be given no choice in the matter. It is not as if we were well loved before the Arch Devil's Gambit. Our people have always struggled against the notion of devilkin, as if a single drop of infernal ichor inescapably corrupts. How amusing, when so many others willingly sell their souls to fiends, yet their culture as a whole escapes the blame. Yes. By what method can we redeem ourselves when the crime is not ours? I'll drive a blade into every warlock that aided Asmodeus's darned ritual, but personal vengeance cannot undo the will of a god, much less one as slippery as the Lord of Lies. When every passerby thinks you a thief and heretic, it is deeply tempting to become one. The only thing that has stopped me is knowing Asmodeus wants nothing more than for all of us to fall from grace. Hilsey's... There's Zevlor. And a few more books. All right, front and center, a thespian's memoir. In fact, the greatest joy of my life hasn't been acting, but becoming. When you choose a character to play, you don't just wear a mask. You take a little of their soul for your own. Whoever you are in your heart of hearts changes, if only by the faintest moat. Invasion plans for Eltergard. Eltergard. A lot of territory to cover before Baldur's Gate. And any cure found there. Gnolls and goblins marked on the map. Travel won't be easy. An aging map of Eltergard and its surroundings. The cities of Baldur's Gate and Elturel are both marked. But it's the wilderness in between that's covered in notes, symbols, and ciphers. The freshest ink marks pictographs of goblins and gnolls. Stone gathering in the forests of hills nearby. Well, Noel shouldn't be much of a threat, unless you're Drist O'Urden. A Traveler's Guide to Baldur's Gate. Variety is the blood of the city itself, for better or worse. The devoted will find a place to worship. The dedicated will find work to be done. And let it be fully understood by any who wish to visit. The criminal enterprises in Baldur's Gate drive as heartily as the rest. We are civilians now, remember. With respect, sir, being a Hellrider is for life. They can't take- They can, and did. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to that. Yes. Zephlor. So Hellrider, that's the gauntlets we got, right? Yeah, Hellrider's pride. We bought those from Zephlor. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4, The Risen Road. The stained well thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Chianthar, uh, the Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from Elturel to Baldur's Gate, and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Chianthar. A portion of the road approximately halfway between Elturel and Baldur's Gate as in recent years developed into an enclave for Seluna worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed alongside the temple, and can provide food and shelter to wary travelers. Farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where a toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll, however bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. Oh, the origins of Z or the Zentarum. Next are from the ongoing meta text Rebound by Josefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for heretical efforts to reconstruct the meta text for God's annals of lost and hidden knowledge. But perhaps greater still than the Monopoly as the continent's largest private army, 
The true achievement of the modern Zentarum is the sanitized image they present to the world. Viewed by most as an efficient, if unscrupulous, mercenary organization. You would guess that the Black Network's dark origin, as a cult dedicated to the dark god Bane, once bent towards bringing all peoples to heel beneath this creed of tyranny and domination. Many among their ranks scoff when confronted with this fact, citing overblown conspiracies and reassuring me that the only gods to whom the Zentarum give worship today are the twin deities Prophet and Power. This is not to say the organization has entirely shed its dark side, however, alongside the clenched fist of... their military. Another hand works from the shadows to ensure that the network prospers even in peacetime. For just as vital as the movement of troops is the movement of goods, legal or otherwise, and there is no border or market that is ever truly closed to one bearing the seal the of the Black the Network. Flaming fist. Pardon? When we get to Baldur's Gate, These where are we enlisting? I'm done soldiering, Tilly. I'd like a clean start, but go with the watch. You're too honest to be a mercenary. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. Have you spoken to Korga? Not yet. Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. Have you spoken to Korga? Try to find stuff that doesn't count as stealing. I hardly need a bodyguard, Tilsis. This isn't a Vernus. No, sir. At least the monsters there oh, wait. looked like monsters. We're allowed to climb this ladder. Why not? Keep that marked on our map just in case. Nope, nope, don't click on it. Because while these two may not see us climb the ladder, there could be tieflings or somebody waiting up top. And once we enter, they'll attack us. This is a nightmare. Oh yeah, I want to do one more thing before we head towards the Druid Circle. I'll go back and see if we can speak to dead with right. the goblins we I've killed. Got food. Water. My dagger. So that's not the case. You know what? While we're down here, let's go check out that one room again with all the poison. There is work to do.
You have to rest again. Give up now. Let's get going. But we could ignore the poison. Another step forward. At least with one character. We could probably jump over it as well. Or, you know what? Let me try this. So it makes it look like it's gonna shatter if I throw it. I don't want to attack it. Maybe we did a different barrel. Let's go back and grab a crate or something. If not over, then through. Some up here. I wanted it to. <laughs> That's where I brought to. Does not let me pick and drag. Hmm. Fine, we'll just try jumping over it then. What's that? So it does count as breaking into. Okay. <laughs> Can I not jump back across? There we go. Let's crack it open. I can't even see a lot to pick. Oh, interesting. So it's possible this is the exit to the library, like a hidden passage that someone else will use to get away later, but we know it's here. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. We'll see. Have to keep going. So I want to practice clicking and dragging again. You should be able to click and drag any object that you can, that you're strong enough to pick up. It's not letting me. Blood? Huh. No, never mind. Well, fine. Go to the druid circle. Stop playing around with the boxes and crates. Very well. <clears throat> it's also possible there's a second perception check inside that room, probably within the poison somewhere. Where we can find a switch to open up that door. I mean, the druid that we saved had to go somewhere. 
I doubt he took the other exits. I guess he could have come up this way. But I find that unlikely. go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for Korga's judgment now get back oh let me through mad or i'll rip your damn throat out <gasps> We need to get Arabella out, now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. Yeah. She's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! Do all the I don't know why Astarian disapproved there. We're not leaving till it's safe. And I get he's not a great guy, but... There's no reason not to save her, right? Because I'm not disapproving of her action necessarily. Because I might steal the relic myself. News of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Please, she's been in there too long. It's not safe. Try grease some palms. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Uh, druids in their groves. We could go over there. Just up and around. Let's talk to the druids first. Start with uh, Giorna. Come, Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back! I'm not looking for trouble. Can you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. See? I was invited. I don't want to talk to you, though. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove, or face our claws. Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. So it's ass on himself. Let's just get rid of it. No, he has it. I'd like to keep our guts on so I wonder if I can still use it with my paladin. That's succinct. All right, in we go. 
doesn't count as stealing. I'm so hesitant to pick it up. Scribbled note. Keep away from Tuffet. He's lazy enough as is. There's a fishing rod. There we go. Take that. Thank you. Let's follow. Antidote. Autumn Crocus. Yes, I see. A plaque. By Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil oh, is calm. I do wish I could understand. A premiere you. on mythical beasts. Each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythological beast. Chapter 5 Miniature Giant Space Hamster. Very little was known about this particular cryptid. The stories say they tend to choose well muscled human males as their steeds when they deign to visit this plane. According to legends, this creature retains a wellspring of indescribable power known only to itself, though it provides its steed with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage. Unsubstantiated rumors claim the creature has a taste for human eyes. That they do. Bosk. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Oh, I speak to Volo. Yeah. Legend himself. I... Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Yeah, give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare, jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? It would be a metallic dragon anyway. It'd be a chromatic one if it was teamed up with goblins, you would think. Dragon. There wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they caught up the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Hold your tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Wait, about our conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. <laughs> Until we meet again. It's a parody of the uh, Tolkien quote. Would that we could... Pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Where are you heading? To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. 
So chances are we'll have to rescue him from the goblin camp at some point. I thought you were healthy. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate! Don't waste a step. A moss covered stone. Oh, it's a seat. <laughs> Thought maybe it was a switch for the door. Right, some more things to read. Please Psalms to the old stop. oak. Oh, I'm not allowed to read it. Or the correspondence report. I can read this one at least. A message scratched in a worried hand. Received message from Hag via Sirith, one of Nettie's birds. We buried Sirith a ten day ago. Not sure how Hag found him. The message itself was threat, but also invitation. She wants to meet. Haven't replied. Buried Sirith again, beneath a heavier stone. Extracts the rules of three. Sorry, the rule of three. Singular, not plural. Long-winded introduction explains that Haskin Desilefin's notes, published as is from their work journal, have helped bring alchemy to the masses. It starts with a full history on the Dragonborn. Have been descaled as a teenager and started their alchemical research in hopes of restoring their hide. As the pages turn, it continues to wax poetic about how Desilifin put aside their own research to help the common people. Much more interesting, though, are Desilifin's actual research notes. I have decided I shall make all my notes, both those written and those still to come, available to those who would wish to study. You reading this text now are probably one such person. As enticing as potion making is, I shall first start with the most basic alchemical rule, the rule of three. Most ingredients can be found throughout Faerun. However, they need to be refined to be of any use in alchemy. Doing so is simple. Just combine three of the same ingredients and you obtain an extract, which can be used to brew potions, poisons, oils, and elixirs. So remember, three of the same ingredients make an extract, or in rhyme form, if you like. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Rice the same ingredient, forms an extract excellent. Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. Concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? I want that key. I mean, it's not my main character. I don't see Will trying to intimidate the bird either. Yeah, stop fussing. It looks fine. No, it's leaning too much to the left. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yes, yes. This is perfect. All right, what now? What path lies before me? I do wonder where that key is for. We probably. Lockpick, whatever it's meant to keep locked. There's a lever here. Which I'm guessing the bear will be angry if we flip, but we'll try it. 
It's not highlighted in red, so I think we should be fine. But let's speak to the bear first. Oh, it's tough it. Mm -hmm. I'm sleeping. Did he move just a little bit? I need to use the elevator. <sighs> okay. Oh, no, that's right. We tried activating this earlier, but we couldn't move it. Oh, I do wish I could understand you. <laughs> there's no reason to activate it now. We'll write it up just in case there's an event on it, but I doubt that's the case. Oh, and I have it on it. <laughs> Uh, let's not try to interrupt the ritual yet. Let's go speak to Apicusis. Speak. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Fair enough. I help defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. I think you can only store four inspirations, so no reason not to go and use one now before we max out. I forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. You still haven't told me what you were doing with that bird. It searches for news of Master Hulsen. Only he can set this right. If he is gone, well, pray that he is not. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. The ritual is Korga's decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halsen welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Fair enough. Let's speak to Elwyn. Ab speritu umok. Aculeus Vitisque. I'm not sure how we're supposed to steal this thing. When they're all standing around it. What if we just knock it down? They shoot it with a bow and arrow. In umbram cretus sanguine euratus. Now what we'll try to do is convince Kaga not to go through the ritual. Or rescue Halston and have him stop it. Defende nos ab iminentibus alquilibrio tuo. Complexum tuum ab terra otum adnos difera. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Who are you looking for? Master. He left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones. And I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. 
He looks strong. Why not go after him? No. The woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately. And I was never the strong one. I was hoping to recruit him. Still nothing. Still nothing. Never Seems like most people are a pretty big fan of this Halson fellow. Targa seems a little bit more divisive. Divisive. Bloodstone. Will might be a fan of that, considering his eyes made of it. See anything else we could possibly jump to? So this is the cliff, I think, that we were standing at the top of earlier. Yeah, there's the, uh, waypoint. No one stopped me here. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. I wonder if Kaga. Yeah. She might be behind yes, the stone door. I'm quite aware. Let's speak to the squirrels and then to Alfira. Slow down. What's wrong? Can't you hear it? Her singing. It's awful. Terrible. It's quite a racket. You could just spare your ears by leaving. We can't. Our brains are melting. Karina, drag me away. The big one is right. We should go before it's too late. With my last strength, I will save us both. Away! Away! Look, that's awful. How much farther can I go? My gilded chest. Cap of Curing. Grant soothing songs. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain 1 to 6 hit points. Putting on this hat is somehow enough to lift your spirits. Well, we can sell it at least. Oh, that works. Can't slow down. Maybe? Ugh, I don't know anymore. Alright, folk songs of Faerun. The book is a clear work in progress, though already extensive, chronicling various musical styles and notation from across Faerun. Amid the orderly symbols in black and ink, one page stands out. It is a wash in color and meandering arcs. The script below reads, Mike and it's the song. By Ogma, I hear and see it, and I know it. Sorry, I hear it, and I see it, and I know it, and I feel it. But I can't write it, or can I? Let's speak to Alfira. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. 
Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. Stay silent and listen. Change? No. Damn it! Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her... I have an extra loot, if you want. Well, first things first. What's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Not an encouragement and gesture her to loot. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes, yes. I feel like I really helped, but glad to be of service. There's supposed to be music here? It's just really quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Option four. Yeah, that song was beautiful. Worthy of a few tears. Thanks. 
That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I, I can still smell it. I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. All right. Well, I'm going to call it here, and next time we'll explore in that direction to the north. And once we reach a dead end, or where I feel like stopping, we'll come back and check out this stone door. Where I assume Kaga and maybe Nettie, uh, the healer that we're supposed to talk to, might be behind. But we'll see. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.